Hey guys, welcome to our first Skylanders Ring of Heroes video post-launch. Sorry I've been a bit slow getting it out, I've just been really busy, but here we are. This one's going to be a beginner tips and tricks. Now, it's going to be a lot of like little interesting things to find information and stuff like that, and then also sort of the first couple days play um, information to help you with those first couple days, because we are only a couple days in. Um, we're not going to have the best systems of doing everything. We're not going to be able to min-max the game yet, but we'll get to those videos as we do learn more. But... Um, We'll jump straight into it. The first thing I want to talk about is the quest. So you want to follow the quests right throughout the game, at least the early part. You'll jump into this part one. There's 96, I think, I believe 95 parts to it. And basically it'll guide you through everything you need to do early game. Um, for veteran like Summoner's War players and stuff like that, who are used to the mobile RPG, you'll probably feel like you already know what to do. But these are really good rewards anyway, so it's good free rewards you're getting for doing the stuff. And also, for people who are coming from a Skylanders background, this will this is actually a really good tool to give you an idea of the game and the flow of it. It'll tell you when you can unlock summoning, uh, when you unlock PvP, when you unlock um, the Mirage Tower, all that sort of stuff. So basically, follow along with it. Don't try and rush ahead of it, because um, eventually you'll want to come back and get the rewards anyway. So that's the first thing I do, is go through with this. Um, and talking about that, you do unlock summoning fairly early, and early in the game, everyone is guaranteed a natural four star. The one I got was this shark shooter terror, terrafin, and um, that was my free nat four. It's random, so it does lead into the territory that you can actually re-roll for this game, um, because you can get that free summon. Also, I think you do get the launch rewards as well without before you actually link your account so you can probably re-roll and um go like that or even create a new account so people that are interested in like doing that sort of thing it's the option is definitely there i think but for me i'm just going to play through with what i have and make it work um so that's that the next one i wanted to talk about this one is um something that I, I actually really wanted to know, and um, the devs were uh, nice enough to tell us that it was in the game already. Um, if we, if you go to your character tab or your, your name, basically click on that and then click the help, it has all the information of the game you could be looking for. And we won't go through all of it right now, but something that I really wanted to know was what all the um, like the uh, effects were, like stealth, what did it actually do? So you can go into here, you can go battles and jewels, and then you can go continuous effects and then it has everything here and you can just scroll through them like you can see there stealth i didn't know this um conceal yourself from single target attacks that's nice they can't target you for single target attacks and increases the critical rate and evasion by 60 percent when you have it active which is an awesome effect the extra 60 percent critical rate with stealth elf means if you run her with stealth then you can you know early game you can still get really high crit rates with her and get her third skill to be doing an additional AOE, which we'll talk about stealth elf a little bit later. Um, but yeah, you can go through all these, and if you don't see one that you're looking for, there is the next button in the bottom right, so it does continue and there's more effects. But there's a lot more you can look through there, so make sure to check that out and have a look through that. Um, the next one I wanted to go through was the menu tab at the top right. Now this one took me a little bit to find. Um, it has a lot of stuff in it, so it's got your inventory, um, your social, that'll be your friends, all that sort of stuff. The collection, you get rewards when you collect monsters and um, reach different levels with them. As you can see here, Stealth Elf, I've reached level 20, so I can claim that reward. And then it'll have a reward for each um, incremental. So now there's one for level 50, I mean, sorry, level 30, and so on and so forth. So that's handy. Um, the other sort of things in there is um, level up rewards. You get rewards as you level your at your avatar your character or yourself so i'm level 15 you get rewards for that sort of stuff the other thing is the events um people like i said use summer's war as a very similar event system you go into here if there's an event on you'll get it um on android the uh what would they the coupon codes they are in this event tab where you can enter them through android on iOS, there's another way. I don't know exactly how to do it. I have seen a link for it, so I'll leave that in the description if you're struggling with the coupon codes. Um, but yeah, I did mine on my Android earlier, so um, there is that. Uh, next on, we'll move to the elements. So there is a lot of elements in this game, and 
don't get too overwhelmed by it. You see, that, that it seems like there's a lot. It seems like there's eight um, natural elements and then the, you got your light dark. But you can really look at it in terms, and this took me a long time to figure out. I, I, like, I don't know how I didn't even re- realize this earlier before the release. But you can look at it as there's ba- basically four elements. You've got life and earth uh, have the same weaknesses and strengths. And then you have water and mech. And then fire and magic. And then wind and undead. You can see down the bottom when I swap between them, their strengths and weaknesses are exactly the same. So if you can look, if you can just figure out, you can couple those um, in their pairs and then it's a four-way elemental system, it makes it a lot simpler to sort of understand the elements. Um, it does look a bit complicated in there, but it is really, in essence, a four-element system. But I still like the way it has all the separate elements anyway. Um, the next thing we're going to move on to is your sort of team composition and what I find like obviously it's only been a couple days but this is just what it was working for me I've been using a healer a damage dealer and a support um I haven't actually been using my my shark shooter because I wanted to do it with sort of free to play units and um so three stars and below or four stars that everyone gets um everyone will eventually get enigma once you finish that wave one of the quests um which is really nice um but the basic idea was I wanted to use Stealth Elf because in this game you get the shards to do summons and those shards are used for everything. You can see they're used for powering up, evolving, um, awakening. I'm going to make another video covering powering up your characters and all stuff like that because otherwise it would, it would just make this video a bit too long. But shards are pretty hard to come by for most Skylanders, but the game gives you a lot of free Stealth Elf ones. So... I've been using her as my damage dealer because I figure I'll be able to awaken her quicker, evolve her quicker, and get her doing good damage. So that's where I'm focusing on. So she's my damage dealer. I was lucky. I actually pulled a, um, a flash wing for my for one of my th- for, as a three star from one of my summons. So I've been using her as my healer. If you don't have her, the one that you get a lot of um, fragments for too is Grilla Driller. Um, you get him fairly early on in the game, and he does have a heal, which is like it's it's not the best thing in the world but it's still a great heal and it'll help you progress and then the last unit i was using was spyro as a support i feel like most people in this last spot you'd throw in the free nat 4 that you get um at the start of the game i feel like that'll make a fairly good team synergy that'll get you through the first wave of the the quests and all that sort of stuff and then once you get past that it gets a little bit tougher and you start having to work a bit more and that's where I'm in, at. And if you ever get lost with where you're at on quests, you just hit the quest tab again and it'll take you to the most recent one you're up to. You can see here, now I've got to clear a level with a fire Skylander. So I got caught out. So now I am actually currently building up my hot dog as my fire unit. I've only just started building him because I've got to get this quest done and I can't quite two man that stage. So I'll put a bit into him and get him done, but that's another thing to consider, you know, diversifying your elements um, and getting that elemental advantage is pretty handy. So you can always build extra units. I, I've been just sort of toying with a bunch of different units just for the sake of it because um, the game is new and we like playing with new stuff. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is the villains tab. So I've had a few people ask, where do I see my villains? You know, I'm getting told to power them up. You can see just on the left hand side, just above the character panel here is a little skull and that's where you go to find your villains. So your villains, uh, additional support for your team. I w- I had been using this broccoli guy because he has a heal, but the heal is very underwhelming. So I sort of, I'm moving away from him and I'm looking at using the chompy that you get from the start because he has a, um, okay. He actually does a defense break. It says decrease buff count. But you can see the little symbol. That, that confused me for a sec. So I don't know if that's a bug, but I, he, he is doing defense break for me at the moment, which is handy in teams, especially against bosses. You can get the defense break on them, and then you're doing more damage. Um, but yeah, there's other ones like this guy I was looking at trying to get because he gives you an attack buff on the unit with the highest attack, which is the one you want to be buffing the attack for. Just things like that. You can play around with them. But yeah, the broccoli guy I thought was going to be really good for the heal, but he's not as great as I was hoping. So... That's the villains tab. Another thing that people uh, often ask, and this is a question I asked at the start and had to get someone to tell me, was if you want to look through all the Skylanders in the game, 
um, basically the opposite side to where that skull was, um, just n next to the Awaken tab and above the characters again. You've got this little tab here, which goes into all the Skylanders, all the villains, and then you've got relationships. And these are like sort of um, once you collect those Skylanders to that requirement, um, the star requirement and all that sort of stuff, you will get to claim extra rewards. You can see acquired, six starred, awakened. Once you get those two at that level or those three, you'll get extra rewards, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, then you can just you can scroll through any Skylander you want here. And if you want to, if you want to summon them, you can click on them and then you can hit the add button. And then if it's got an area where you can get them, you can click on it. Obviously I haven't unlocked it yet, but it'll tell you where you can farm those materials if they have it. If not, you have to use Omni gems. Now Omni gems are another one that we'll just look at quickly here. So you can see my Enigma. If I go add and use Omni gems, is it Omni or Omni? Omni, I got it right the first time, it's okay. So you can use these Omni gems. Um, as you can see, you can just get um, generic ones for the rarity of the monster, of the Skylander, or you can get for their role. So you can see here, I could use these support ones, go add, get an extra piece and exchange it. Um, and that's the other way you can get the, the uh, fragments. I feel like later game, we'll get a lot more of those and it'll be a lot easier. Um, but for like the natural one stars, it's much easier because you'll have um, actually, I just used all mine before on um, on snapshot. So you do get a lot more of these ones, the gray ones, because they're one stars. You just get more because it, it's generous to you. Um, the next thing I wanted to look at was the experience. So we, we will make like an experience guide once we know more. But just keep in mind, if you're looking at leveling your Skylanders and you're looking at the experience, um, normal is nice to do once you can get to normal on some of these earlier maps. But we found that um, once you get to some of the later maps, easy gives more experience than normal. So just as you play and if you're looking to grind experience, start looking through it and just keep an eye out. But we will, I will make a guide about that once all the information is out there and we're able to clear every stage and look at the actual experience we can get. Um, I can't remember who it is, sorry, on, on the Discord channel is starting to make a chart of all this and it's really helpful. So, um, I'm not sure if I can leave a link to the chart or whether you have to get into the Discord, but um, the Discord link's in the description anyway. Um, and it's really helpful stuff. Um, the last thing I wanted to cover is just this distorted dimensions. It sort of rotates through every day what you can go through. Um, you've got the two rune dungeons here, which you can do. And oh, this is another thing I'll throw in here. The auto 10 times. Now, this is a fantastic feature that I'm absolutely loving. Um, if I go to enter this, you can see here next to the start, the auto battle options, you can click that, hit OK. And that's going to do a 10, um, 10 battles and restart each one. You don't have to click it every time. The only catch is that you have to have the stage at three star completion. And you can hit the little star at the top here to see what, what the requirements are. As you can see, one star, clear the stage, have one or more survivors for two and then clear within three minutes. So the speed of your times is gonna help a lot. That's why I started using that chompy and I started doing some manual runs to get the chompy out just before the boss stage, then put the armor break on, then hit him with my stealth elf as hard as I could just to get that extra damage to try and get those speeds because then it allows you to do the 10 times run. So that is the catch with the 10 times run. And the cool thing about the 10 times run is on your normal auto runs, they go at two times speed on the 10 times runs, they go at three times speed, so they're even faster. It's, I really like the system, I think it's fantastic, and it's really helpful. And then the other dungeons we have are all the elemental dungeons, which give you um, materials for evolution and all that sort of stuff. Once again, I'll go through that in another video more in depth, but they just wrote through, rotate through on different days and all that sort of stuff, so keep an eye out for those. I'd be looking at doing the ones, so I, I was really shattered that I didn't do more of them when I had uh, when I had the day open because I just needed one of these ones and I could have awakened my stealth elf. Now I've got to wait for it to come back off rotation. Good thing it's at the end of today. But um, that's just something early on. If one of them's open, if like the life one's open and you're using stealth elf, see if you can farm up a few of them so that you can eventually awaken her. Um, and that is going to be pretty much it for this first video. In general, I think the game is fantastic. The combat system, there'll be a lot more videos. I just can't cover everything in this one. 
And if you do have any other beginner tips and tricks for people, put them down below. I was just trying to get the some basic information and some little niche things that I didn't notice that are really helpful out in this video. Um, like I said, this is only the first video. There's a lot to come. We'll have one about evolutions, experience, PVP, uh, combat. There's a lot to cover, but um, yeah, this is it for the first one. But if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and um, check out our Discord channel if you want to come join and have a community that's always talking about the game. I haven't seen an official Discord for Skylanders yet. I know there's another Skylanders fan page that also has a Discord. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. But um, yeah, besides that, that's about it for this first video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.